Hello, uh, Eric Darling here with Eric Darling Data. Uh, almost on the verge of celebrating my one-year anniversary. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm going to re be recording a series of videos because I think this is something that uh, I wish I understood better when I was first um, getting into performance tuning queries. And I think there's some really tricky and interesting stuff that... Uh, happens between like be there's differences between actual execution plans and uh, the cache plans that um, that that you might look at in the plan cache or in query store, uh, and the ways that the cache plans can be very very misleading. So uh, I plan on also having all of these demos uh, as uh, as a talk. So I'm recording these videos sort of as supplementary material to that too, in case anyone wants to go and revisit uh, anything and. This is just sort of the introductory video uh, where I'm going to talk through the stuff that I'm going to record uh, over the course of today. Uh, and this might change over time. This list will probably get a little bit longer, <laughs> get, uh, hopefully have some, maybe have some new stuff added to it. But uh, just like I got drunk on a Sunday and this is what I put together. I mean, it's what day is today now? This is now uh, Thursday. So I've been, I've been working on this. Um, and I look forward to giving my liver a break. Uh, so what I'm going to talk through, uh, what can, stuff that can be misleading, um, when queries have a very low cost, but use a lot of CPU, and the things that can cause those. Uh, when, C when queries have a low CPU, but high duration. Uh, spools, and how those can be crappy and misleading. Uh, weird stuff that can go on with parallelism. What happens to a store procedure when you use it to call dynamic SQL or other store procedures? Uh, when merge joins uh, have the many-to-many -many flag set is true. And then some stuff sort of, I don't want to call it parameter sniffing. I just want to call it parameter related because not all of it is exactly parameter sniffy stuff. Some of it is like if you like have if logic or uh, something like that in your query that you use to like branch stuff off or like make some decisions about what exactly you're going to do inside of a store procedure when it runs. So I'm looking forward to sharing all this stuff with you. Uh, I'm also looking forward to this list growing as, uh, I don't know, as, the t as time goes on. Or I don't know, maybe Microsoft will magically make it <laughs> so that we don't have to worry about this stuff anymore. That would be nice too. I'm going to go make some phone calls about that. Anyway, uh, I will see you in the next video uh, where we will talk about, um, well, we, we will start f getting these liars uh, to expose themselves. Anyway, see you there.